Welcome back to Vertex Mode. Today, we will learn how to show the wireframe in your viewport and include it in your final render using Marmoset Toolbag. First, let's talk about showing the wireframe in your Marmoset Toolbag viewport. Head to the Viewport Settings gear icon in the upper right corner of the viewport, click on it, and enable wireframe. Here, you can play with two primary settings, intensity and color. Remember that this is just a viewport setting, and the wireframe will be included if you render an image or video from the render node. Now, to include the wireframe in your Marmoset Toolbag render, you'll need to access your render settings. Select the render node in the scene panel. Then, scroll down until you find the render passes section. Here, we have two options, add the wireframe to the final composite or render it as a separate render pass. First, in the Render Passes section, click the gear icon next to Final Composite. Here, you can access the wireframe settings. If you enable it and render the image, you will get your render with the wireframe already included. If you want a separate render pass, click the Add New button and select Wireframe. This will create a new render pass. Just like before, you can tweak the settings on the gear icon. In this case, the shadow catcher is also visible in the wireframe pass, so I will add an object ID pass to remove it later. And there you have it, a quick guide on displaying the wireframe in your Marmoset toolbag viewport and including it in your renders. It's a fantastic way to showcase your models in your portfolio while giving more information about your modeling skills to potential employers. If you found this tutorial helpful, remember to give us a like and subscribe for more awesome Marmoset toolbag tips and tricks. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in our next video.